Well, one chapter has come to a close and another has opened at Offutt Air Force Base. A retirement ceremony for one tail from the fleet of WC-135s was held off base at the airport in Lincoln today, making way for a more modern version of the aircraft. And I was able to check it out and get a tour of the old plane. Take a look. The WC-135 program played a major role in tracking radioactive debris from the Soviet Union's Chernobyl nuclear plant disaster. Out with the old. Getting the opportunity to retire an aircraft is a really big deal uh, in the Air Force. It's the end of an era. It's the end of a legacy. It's the end of thousands of hours of flying and, and maintaining and, and thousands of missions. And in with the new. The new WC-135R that we have allows us to be more efficient and it allows us to stay airborne longer. Uh, it allows us to have uh, more crew on board doing a more efficient job of assessing the atmosphere, analyzing the particulates, getting the data back to the scientists faster. The retirement ceremony at the airport in Lincoln is a time-honored tradition. To honor the contributions this aircraft has made in the defense of our nation and its allies since the 1960s. She's the last purebred small motor. She was first introduced to the Air Force as a C-135B on 20 April 1962 when she was delivered to uh, an air transport wing at Travis. So we've seen enough of the outside of the 667, but let's go inside to see what she looks like. As you can see, a lot of folks are getting one last glimpse of the inside of 667. Over the past several decades, the pilots who sit in this cockpit have flown about 8,500 sorties. So you may be looking at both of these planes and you may be thinking, OK, the old one looks just like the new one. Well, here's one thing that sticks out. You see this engine right here? This engine is huge, right? But take a walk with me. The engine on the new aircraft, it's a lot bigger, and we're told it's more efficient. So the wording on the side of these stairs going into the new aircraft, the sun never sets on the Fighting 55th. Well, rightfully so. That's because the new runway will be opening at the end of this month, and we'll bring that to you on Mission Service. And there is some good news. Uh, the new runway at Offutt Air Force Base, it opens on September 30th to be exact. And one more thing to note, two more new WC-135s are scheduled to arrive to the wing over the 12 to next uh, 12 to 18 months. As for the fate of the older aircraft, well, it's going to spend the rest of its days at the Air Force Base uh, Aircraft Boneyard is nicknamed in Tucson, Arizona. That's where the Air Force sends a large majority of its uh, old inventory to be scrapped for parts and uh, cannibalized for uh, those sort of things and scrap metal, you name it. I'm going to Arizona. Yeah. I love the idea of a send off though. Yeah. Like celebrating its service to this country. Yeah, That's pretty absolutely. cool. Same, same thing with uh, you know military dogs and military members too. Yeah. We'll get into that for next week's mission service as well. I'll talk a bit uh, about those That's things. That's a deep so. tease, Chris. Yeah, it certainly yeah. is. Tease I'm of the future. Rubbing off on Mark <laughs> over here. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I love that reporting. And Mark, a veteran, so a unique point yeah. of view for sure. It's honored to serve. Yeah.